Hey guys, welcome back to my Divine Timing Tarot. This is going to be a love reading for Scorpio for the month of April 2023. Spirit guides and angels, please connect me with uh, Scorpios in love and tell me what is going on with Scorpio's current love situation and what will be the outcome for Scorpio's love situation for the month of April 2023. If this resonates with you, feel free to drop a comment down below and to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. Any three cards, what's going on in Scorpio's current love situation? What's going on right now with Scorpio's in love? What's going on with Scorpio's in love right now? Knight of Wands in reverse, the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. What will be the outcome for Scorpio's love life for the month of April 2023? Two of Pentacles, Ten of Wands in reverse, and the Page of Swords in reverse. Could be dealing with, um, I have strong fire and strong air here and strong earth. At this at, at in the at this time um, Scorpio I feel like a lot of these are stuck in this um, I feel like it's not even so a relationship um, you guys are like really stuck with within a connection that this person just comes and goes as they please this person gives you the bare minimum here I feel like, you know, you're very attracted to this person and that's possibly, you know, maybe even like something sexual, but that's like the only thing that keeps you um, committed or in this connection. I feel like you guys are, you know, you guys feel tied down to this person um, and it's like you're starting to... It's like you're trying, you're, you're starting to de devalue yourself in some, to like to some degree. It's like you, you're not recognizing your worth right now. Clarify this Knight of Wands in reverse. Queen of Cups. There's feelings there. There is feelings. Clarify the Queen of Cups. Seven of Cups in reverse. It's like, it's strange. Like, you really want this person. You really, you know, you really want this person, but this person is not giving you more. They're not giving you more than what you deserve here. I feel like this person is just like almost... You know, it's like they're almost playing games. Like they just, they're, they're inconsistent. They come and go as they please here. And it keeps you tied down to them. It's like you can never, um, it's like you feel tied down. You feel like there's nothing you can do. Like you have to um, accept this sort of behavior. Clarify the Eight of Swords for um, Scorpio. The Five of Cups in reverse. It's like you guys feel almost... <clears throat> the less you know what this person is doing, it's like you're almost blind to it. You're almost blind. Or you're ignoring the fact that what this person is doing. You're ignoring it or you're just, you know, you're acting like as if you don't know. You're trying to act like, you know, everything is good between us. But really deep down inside, you know that you're, you know, you're ruining possibly your reputation. 
you're ruining, you know, your self, your self esteem, your self confidence. You're ruining all of that over this person. Clarify the nine of pentacles in reverse for uh, Scorpio. Clarify the nine of pentacles in reverse for Scorpio. Taurus energy, the Hierophant in reverse. You guys could have, you know, maybe this person uses some of you too for money financially. They just, you know, they rely on you financially. Again, it's like, you know, at the end of the day that this person is not in alignment with you. You know that this person, um, you're never going to get married to this person. Um, you guys have, you know, it, you're not on the same page. You know that. So why do you keep like degrading yourself over this connection, uh, Scorpio? For the outcome uh, for the month of April... I feel like there's some sort of communication coming in for you guys. But I feel like you guys, again, you guys are just really, you're not making a decision here. It's like you're just going back and forth, back and forth. This is like this connection just keeps going back and forth. It doesn't ever, uh, like, it doesn't go further, any further than how it's been. But I feel like you guys are really going to release some something that has been weighing you down. Let me see. Clarify the Two of Pentacles for Scorpio. The Seven of Pentacles. It's like you guys, in the month of April, you keep going back and forth wondering like, will this get any better or will it not? You know, but at the same time, you don't make any sort of decision. There's no sort of progress here. It's like you're still waiting to see some sort of change, some sort of progress. Clarify the Ten of Wands in reverse for Scorpio. Clarify the Ten of Wands in reverse for Scorpio. Ten of Cups uh, in reverse and the Five of Wands in reverse. <clears throat> I feel like there's going to be a major... Um, there's something here that's coming to a full completion here between you and this person. I feel like you're finally going to realize that this is not worth it. This has been nothing but weighing you down. And finally, you're going to release that sort of baggage that this person has been um, making you carry. You're going to finally realize that you're not going to have your happily ever after with this person. This person um, is not going to make you happy in the long run. And, you know, it's not... It's not even worth fighting about. It's not worth. You're not, it's not worth it. That's good that you're finally going to realize that. Because it seems like you've been very stuck in this energy where, you know, you keep going back and forth and, you keep thinking like, you know, like that everything is okay when it's, when, when really it's not. And I feel like once you release this, um, energy or this connection, once you finally release this, I feel like this person is, they're not going to let you go as easily as you think. They're going to keep tabs on you. They're going to keep spying on you. 
Um, for some of you, for some of you, I feel like you guys aren't really even talking. And I feel like this person, you know, keeps thinking that you're always going to be waiting for them. And this person, once they, once they start to realize that, you know, you're not putting up a fight anymore, you're like, basically like surrendering, you're giving up. This person's going to keep a closer eye on you, however they do it, whether it's social media, whether, you know, they know where you work and they, you know, they know your sort of daily routine. They're going to keep a closer eye on you. Um, but I feel like if you do get any sort of communication from this person, um, it's not going to be It's not going to be anything honest. Whatever they're going to say is just, you know, it's it's all going to be dishonesty. Clarify the page of swords in reverse for Scorpio. Virgo, the hermit. Clarify the Hermit and the Page of Swords in Reverse. I feel like you guys are not going to receive this communication. For some of you, if you do get communication, um, it's going to be very minimal. It's like this person might just tell you like, look, I, I just want to be alone. Others of you, I feel like the majority of you are not going to receive this communication from this person. This person is just going to keep their eyes on you. They're going to keep tabs on you and they're going to, you know, really reflect on this whole situation, on this whole connection. Um, I feel like they want to open up here, but they don't really have much to say. Clarify the nine of wands in reverse. Because they know that you're not, you know, <clears throat> they know that you're not even fighting for this anymore. Pisces energy with the moon. Yeah, they're not going to say anything. They want to open up here. Um, but they're keeping it to themselves. This person's just going to, you know, keep doing their own thing. I don't feel like you're going to really even hear from them in April. They know what they're doing. That's the bottom line. They know what they're doing to you. And I feel like this person doesn't have any sort of uh, in good intention uh, towards uh, commitments or towards the future with you, Scorpio. But that's what I have for you guys. I hope it resonates with you and I'll see you guys again.